Well, it'll hold my 200 pounds, so. Hey, welcome off-road stuffers. I guess that's what you call you guys for following my channel. Anyways, uh, real quick. So today, what I'm planning on doing on the little uh, welding trailer is uh, get all the lights wired, get the, uh, the rear light uh, housings welded on, get the uh, hinges, latches, and the chains for the rear gate, um, possibly safety chains, finish getting the uh, trailer wired with the plug on it, verify it with the truck, make sure everything's good. Um, maybe even pick up a set of bottles today, start working on some way to start to store those on the trailer. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys ready? Let's get this done. All right, so through uh, the magic of editing, so I got, there they are, the rear light brackets welded on. There, I got my side marker lights. And it's all wired. Got the plug on it, hooked it to the truck, verified everything works right. Um, oh, so I got the, the tailgate on here. Grabbed a couple of these latches from uh, the old Harbor Freight. I think they were like two bucks a piece, and that was a steal for these guys right here. Got some little chains welded on there. So I could use it for storage while I'm working. I could put tools down there if I need to. Um, haven't quite got all the layout figured out. Maybe do some kind of small storage back there for pieces of metal or whatever and uh thanks to my dad i got a set of bottles thanks pops he just had these laying around the shop says hey i'll never use these get them out of here they're taking up room so you know what hot damn i grabbed them so that's going to be i don't know if we're going to get to that today that might be another episode um uh, trying to figure out where to put those on the trailer I got the uh, the boom arm. I don't know if I showed you guys this. I took this off another trailer that I'd built. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this square tubing. And I'm going to replace it with this round pipe. And it's going to have a sleeve and a little stop collar. And it will sit here and basically attached right here. And then... I'm going to take this, make some gussets that'll come off that pipe, kind of go out in a couple different angles. This will be mounted on there, so that way I could lift the welder in and out of the trailer whenever I want to. And then it'll, I think it'll reach that corner there, and then it'll swing all the way out. It's got a five foot radius, so I could bring it out over here anywhere and help hold up any material if i need to if i don't have stands so the um, well i'm gonna get to it got this piece welded in well it's welded in down here i got a little stopper ring welded it to the trailer so it's got a little bit of support this will get probably bolted because there's expanded metal in between so this will get couple of four or five bolts whatever and then uh right now i'm going to cut the uh, gussets they're up there i'm going to get those cut try to get those all welded in tonight and then that tube right there i don't know if you guys there it is that tube is going to replace this guy here so it'll be a little snugger fit and it'll all be round and all that good stuff okay so where are we at here? So I got that brace, or braces. Got them all welded in. And then, uh, so I got the sleeve on here. And then I got the boom kind of mocked up. So tomorrow, I'm gonna cut the little mounting tab that was on the old one. I'm gonna cut it off, clean it up. I could reuse it here. 
and then I'll cut a little three inch cap and make another set of ears that kind of come up and over like that so I can put the bolt through it that way it can pivot I'll have to probably round this bottom edge just a little bit but uh, I think it'll be all right I'm gonna I'm gonna try to set that hole up about another half inch that way it should have enough room to rotate and then um, I'll just probably come in here someplace and drill and tap a little hole put a grease fitting in right there that way we can keep this thing lubed up and let it swing around as it needs to I haven't decided I'll have to see how it works out there might be enough friction um, that I don't need a stopper plate uh, on my other one I had a kind of a square plate with some holes and a pin so I could index it and keep it in a certain position and not worry about it kind of swinging on its own so sorry about that I kind of jumped the gun I got home a little early today and uh, well I got off early went back to the shop um, used the lathe and turned down a couple pieces uh, <clears throat> for the boom arm and I uh, got home, got a little excited, started just getting it all together, and I forgot to take pictures and whatnot. So I machined this piece here, got it welded. So the theory is with this one, I'm going to put a grease fitting up here so I can just keep putting grease and keep this thing spinning. Did the same thing, machined that piece. It'll sit down like that, turn. I cut this off the old upright. Just got that welded on. Now I'm gonna get it mocked up so I can make my ears for the top side. Okay, so I got the uh, top tabs on. And uh, you can see I got it mounted. So that's kind of how it works. I still gotta mount the plate. I'm gonna do that in a second, but basically it'll just, it just swings around. And uh, like I said, I'll come in here somewhere right on the top so that the grease goes down into that flat cap and then kind of squishes out goes down the, the shaft here and hopefully that'll work i gotta take these washers out most of those will uh, go in here to kind of even out this ram to keep the slop out of it but uh yeah i think i'll come in here and kind of radius these corners out and stuff I got it bolted down and uh, well, it'll hold my 200 pounds. So pretty sure it'll deal with that welder getting in and out and pretty much anything else that I need to deal with. This thing will swing all the way around. So here's my workbench and here's so it'll hold anything that hangs out that way a couple feet um doesn't quite clear the other side if i lower it down it's almost even with that corner but it'll come up over here above my vise so there again for any reason if i need to hold something up while i'm welding or whatever a third hand um it doesn't quite reach Let's see if we lower it down. So it doesn't, doesn't reach that corner, but it'll swing all the way over here. So I can like have my welder right here and pick it up, swing it around, and it's going to go basically right here. All right. Well. Hope you guys like it. Thanks for following along. Don't forget, share with your friends. Leave some comments. Ring the bell for notifications. Hit the subscribe button. Most importantly, be safe, and we'll see you on the trail.